What's the view with Fatima Gamble? Every week, a great topic. We have the one and only Fatima Gamble with us today. Hi, Fatima. Hello, Mimi. Today's topic is celebrating life. Life is so fleeting, it's so short, and we need to take advantage of every day. Fatima Gamble, how can we celebrate life? We can celebrate life and um, and live life. You have to live life. Um, you know, life is not always a celebration, and we, there are there there are going to be some ups and downs in life that we recognize, but we have to be able to overcome and even the the downs. We 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 can, we have to learn from the downs in order to move on to say better things. You know, we, we tend to think that life is perfect or life should be perfect, but life is not perfect. In fact, um, you know, just get for example, when it's raining outside, we mm -hmm. say, oh, that's a bad day. It's raining. We cannot go out in the rain. And we tell the children that they cannot go out in the rain. But when it's sunny, they say, oh, it's sunny out. So now we can go out and play in the sun. But we have to uh, teach our children at a very young age that, uh, and ourselves for that matter, that despite the rain, the sun, every day is a beautiful day because it is your opportunity to make something of that day. And again, when we tend to try to celebrate life, you know, we try to uh, think again that it's going to be perfect. Again, it is not. Life is not purpose, uh, perfect because, you know, we have some, some loved ones who leave us and we tend to mourn and we tend to be saddened by the fact. But we need to celebrate the life of that individual no matter how long or how short it was, because you had an opportunity to be with that person for the period of time that they were here and that they were with you. When you talk about life being a celebration and it's not always a happy time, mm -hmm. so that means it kind of can go up a little bit and can go down, and we're supposed to ride it through because mm -hmm. we have talked about being in the present moment. The moment that we have right here, right now, is so vital. Through those quiet times and those rainy days, there's something for us to learn, don't you think? Oh, absolutely. And the way to learn those things during those quiet times is to completely deload. Now, with that I mean that you have to shut everything down, shut your mind down, and let your mind wander. Stop the thoughts, shut the thoughts down, let the mind wander, and just do mindless things, deloading. Um, I I'm intending to do that right now. Um, because my life can get so hectic, I need time to take for me. We should always have, find time to take for us because it is our time that we can be creative mm -hmm. or we can just do absolutely nothing. We can vegetate, but we need to take that time for ourselves. And that, you know, I, I call it deloading. Today is Monday. I'm deloading today because I'm doing something outside of work. I don't have my iPad. I'm not looking at my iPad. I'm not looking at um, my, uh, my inbox, sort of putting that aside. And then once I, and then I think that we should all find time to de deload like every day. So you, you schedule your deloading period the same way you schedule your appointments. Or lunch. Or lunch, whatever. <laughs> like from, say, 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. Or 6 a.m. to 7 a.m. Because that's when my day really gets started, like 5 or 6 a.m. So just sit and feel, don't feel um, obligated to do anything during that, that time that you are deloading. And again, you're celebrating the time 
and the life that you have at that moment. And deloading also, would that include getting enough rest, resting the body to maybe taking a luxurious bath or, you know, um, enjoying a cup of tea or some time with yourself and not, like you said, not looking at your iPad, not looking at how many uh, people have emailed you or even cutting off the phone or not answering it for a while? Oh, sure. Absolutely. Um, that, that spending time that the bath time, the just relaxing in a um, in a bubble bath or just a, a hot soak, that is your time. Deloading, you're deloading. That is your time. Yes. Wow. Deload yourself. Mm-hmm. Quantum McGamble, the wellness of you on one hundred five point three WDAS FM.